Hello, I am Becca Rue. Thanks again for watching Rue's Musings. Today I'm giving you a little bit of a different way to think about your life. And as I talk about very much on these videos, I think the common mentality in our culture of why we're all here is to be perfect, to be thin and pretty, and to make a lot of money. That's mostly what we're thinking about during the day, that that is our goal and essentially that we're failing in doing those things. It's a very common shared mentality. I have one of these videos that's called I'm Fat and I'm Broke. Sure enough, it has the most views of all my other videos. So, you know, awaken spiritually, four views. I'm Fat and I'm Broke, 380 views. Hmm, that's interesting. So instead of this mentality, I'm going to share with you a, a, a lens given to me from my teacher's teacher. His name is John Friend, and he he said there, there was a highest reason for practicing yoga, which I'm not sure that I buy, but it's an interesting concept. And his highest reason for practicing yoga in Sanskrit is chit ananda, chit ananda. And chit ananda translates literally, from my understanding, as consciousness and bliss. So being conscious that your natural state of being is a state of bliss, which yoga teaches us. Being blissfully conscious is another way to translate that. But he translated Chidananda as creating art and beauty in the world, which I was like, wow, that's really fascinating. That being conscious of your bliss equals our ability to create art and beauty in the world. And I, I get it, I get the thread in that if you woke up every day and instead of feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm already late or I, you know, I cheated on my diet yesterday and I don't have enough money in the bank. If instead you woke up and you remembered instantaneously upon waking that you are bliss embodied. You are the universe embodied and that your natural state of being is one of bliss, even inside of discomfort and challenges and struggle. Your day would feel different. And maybe inside of that day, you're, you're, you're creating more art and beauty in the world. If that's your mentality, that you're, you're a bliss body, that makes sense to me. And creating art and beauty in the world isn't necessarily, like I wrote this poem, and I'm gonna share it with you, although obviously that, that it is that as well. But it's also how we interact with people on a day-to-day -day basis. So I wonder if your life right now would feel different, if you can even just check in with your thoughts in your head and the thoughts that you've had today around why you're here, what, what the point of your life is. Probably, I'm guessing it's about, you know, getting this, this task done or checking, checking things off of your to-do list or, you know, taking care of other people, taking care of things. Well, that's a lot of what we're thinking about. And if we reframed doing all that, I'm not saying don't do those things, but if it was about remembering your bliss and if it was about creating art and beauty in the world, that's an interesting prism with which to live, I think. And it's interesting to practice yoga in that way as well. And this is true, 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 you um, yoga skeptics out there, specifically yoga classes. It doesn't matter if you're flexible. It doesn't matter how strong you are. We really come to our mats, to our spiritual practice, to say, how can I remember, how can I be conscious that I am bliss embodied? Maybe these shapes help you remember that. Maybe pausing in your day helps you remember that. Um, it's a different way. It's a different way of living. And when we come to our spiritual practice, and the yoga poses is a spiritual practice, that's what we're doing. We're remember we're we're <laughs> we're, 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 we're stuttering. We're remembering that we're bliss, and we're attempting to create art and beauty in the world through our bodies, through our breath, through our own unique expression, which is only can happen through you. So check out my other Ruse musings. Share these on your page, and I will see you next week. Bye bye.